What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're going to be driving around Seattle testing Tesla's version 9.2 full self-driving software. It's been about a month since I did the test. That was version 9. They've had two updates since then, so we're going to see what's good. Elon Musk himself says this version is not that great, so really excited to see how it does. Just kind of get a feel for it, review it with y'all. Let's roll. <laughs> <laughs> the road was <laughs> okay that didn't go well <laughs> this is actually just a really weird zone because there's a bunch of construction but we'll see if this works crazy I think once it you know once you've had it for a while you kind of take for granted how awesome it is um like it's I mean this is pretty complex urban environment it's doing really well that was a little jerky everything else has been super duper smooth um feeling very comfortable calm Okay, I'm gonna disengage and get us to the monorail because that's what we've all been waiting for. Oh, it's avoiding that guy, okay. This is it, the epic monorail. Okay. So this is the triple black diamond. I don't even know if humans, ooh, uh, whoa. Uh, this is hard to do if you're a human, keep that in mind. Very hard to do if you're a human because I don't even know if it's legal because how are we gonna get left? Because you have to go either in the intersection or you have to cross the line. Um, whoa. And if you're watching, this is like the only place where I can get the FSD to totally mess up. So this is like literally the hardest corner case we can find. So yeah, don't judge, still beta. It's an incredible piece of software, but this is the hardest thing. This is what everyone wants to see. So that's what I'm doing. And this is, this is the big show. We'll see what happens here. I mean, I think it's gonna have to give up because unless it's gonna. Okay, shit, I'm getting honked at, so I gotta go. Okay, well, that was. <laughs> That was it. Damn, I mean, that was a tough one. Now I'm gonna take it on some easier, doper routes so that you can see how awesome the software is. We'll, sh we'll let it shine, you know? right on red which it's actually really good at I'm not touching it at all right now 
Um, it's gonna go for it. Wow, nice move, Tesla. I mean, this is a weird intersection, honestly. I don't want to tell it to go. I want to tell it to creep a little. It's going. Okay, dope. Did a perfect little creep to there. Ooh, this, I think it's, I'm going to let it do it by itself. Not giving it any gas. Not touching it at all. I don't know. Is it going to do it? Ooh, just took a little. Ooh, nice. Fire. See, this is where autopilot or FSD is shining. I would say almost as good, if not better, than the average human driver here already. It slows down here. Okay, I think it would have been fine there. Just that was a lot happening. I've noticed that that's an interesting thing. It's like I get nervous when a lot of stuff happens, so I disengage it, but I don't know if it would have. I don't know, I couldn't look at the screen, so I didn't have time to see if it saw that guy coming and it didn't feel like it was stopping or slowing. I would say that's one really interesting feedback I have for Autopilot and the team is like, um, it doesn't slow, and see now it's like way on the left and this guy's trying to go, it's not a one way, um, is that it doesn't go slow and, and see, see I just disengage, but it leaves on cruise control, um, which I don't want on. And so that happens a lot. And I think, I don't know why that's a feature, um, I, I wish when I just disengaged, it would just disengage, but that's a feature. That's not like a bug. That's how Tesla has it set up. Um, but I think in general, what I've noticed is that, okay, this is kind of sketching me out because you can't really see. But this is where a situation where in theory autopilot might be able to see actually like way better than I can. Um, and yeah, like I couldn't really see, but it could see there. So that was dope. But yeah, in general, what I was trying to say is I think it's it sometimes I disengage a lot because there'll be like a turn coming up and I just feel like it's going too fast into the turn. And I don't know if it's going faster than I would go or I'm just getting nervous because it has to turn and I don't, you know. Also, I know what y'all are thinking, galley clean your windshield. I can already see those complaints, so I'm just going to do that for y'all. Damn, no window, no window cleaner. Or is that the window cleaner? No. Nah. All right, I tried. They don't have window cleaner. Okay, so that's version 9.2 FSD. Um, you know, honestly, I kind of got to agree with Elon. Not that great. Like, I'm still um, very cautious about driving. Like, very kind of on edge. Like, I'm like sweating. I'm like, damn, is it hot? Or am I just sweating? Like, I don't know. <laughs> um, it's incredible that this is in the wild. An amazing piece of technology. And we are like on the, the front lines of history watching this develop. Um, but I, so I just can't wait for another update. According to his recent tweets, this V10 um, beta 11, definitely he says, will use one stack to rule them all, city streets, highway, and complex parking lots. So behind the scenes, Tesla is constantly developing the new technology, you know, whether it's 2D uh, images to 3D to vector space to make this technology better and grinding behind the scenes. That's what we saw at AI day. Um, so still some work to be done here, an extremely impressive project. I'm be waiting for v10 and in the meantime i'll be making more videos on v9 including with my spectacles so you can see what it's like while i'm kind of navigating in the car and see everything that i'm seeing um anyway huge shout out to tesla and the team for putting this out there definitely on the right path so i just want to give them major props and i think there's nothing else like this in the wild tesla's undisputably a leader but the truth is solving pure, pure self-driving and FSD is a really, really hard problem. Um, and it's just going to take, I think, at least a couple more years of just constant iterative development, pushing out more updates, getting more data, and just constantly improving because this is one of the hardest, most real world um, challenges that we're trying to tackle and have AI take over the human brain. And if Tesla can solve this, then I think they can get the Tesla bot working too. Um, but anyway, this is HyperChange signing off. See y'all next time. Peace.